Hello everyone, I am Sir Kenneth Dugay of STEM Teacher PH. Para sa video na to, magsosolve tayo ng problem involving optimization. Let us have this problem. A farmer has 2,400 feet of fencing and wants to fence off a rectangular field that borders a straight river. He needs no fence along the river. What are the dimensions of the field that has the largest area? So meron tayong 2,400 feet ng fencing nakapalibot siya dito tapos we are along a straight river kaya hindi na kailangan ng fencing sa part na to kaya tatlong parts lang he needs no fence along the river ang tanong ano yung dimension ng fencing na makakapag-produce ng pinakamalaking area kaya gagamit tayo ng concepts of optimization let us start mag-label muna tayo ng variable sayaan natin na etong part na to itong nasa baba let this be our x Tapos eto, dahil rectangular field siya, dapat pareho yung value nito, tsaka dito. They are both y. Ang pinakamalaking area, area of a rectangle, let's start with our formulas. A is just equal to the length times the width. In our case, meron tayong x and then y. So, x times y para makuha yung area. Ito yung formula na gagamitan natin ng optimization. Pero since meron pa tayong dalawang variables na involved, Meron tayong x tsaka y, hindi pa natin siya masasolve. Kaya let us look for more formulas na pwedeng gamitin. Meron tayong 2,400 feet ng fencing. Pwede nating tignan yung perimeter, yung length around dito sa rectangular field. Kaya kung titignan natin the perimeter, para makuha natin yung nasasakupan niya, meron tayong isang x tsaka dalawang y. So i-add lang natin sila, we have x plus 2y. In our case, meron na tayong area, meron tayong perimeter, meron tayong given, ito yung haba, we have 2,400 feet. Kaya we write here, perimeter is 2,400 feet, ito yung kabuuan na nasa paligid, and then we have x plus 2y. Let us try to solve this one, yung area, using one variable, gamit to. Kaya let us try to solve for x. Ang gagawin, ililipat lang natin yung 2y sa kabila. So you have 2,400 this will become minus 2y is equal to x. Tapos pagpalitin na natin yung left side tsaka right side, you have x is equal to 2,400 minus 2y. Ngayon, ang gagawin natin, we are given with this one, eto, ipapalit na natin siya dito sa x kay area. Para makuha na lang natin yung area in terms of one variable. Kaya we substitute yung x palitan natin ng 2,400 minus 2y, Continuing here, you have area is equal to, this will become 2,400 minus 2y and then times y. Ngayon, we are left with one variable. Makukuha na natin yung value ng a, the area, in terms of y. Kaya ngayon, let us simplify. a is just equal to, perform tayo ng multiplication, 2,400 times y is 2,400y minus 2y times y, that is 2y squared. Now, we were able to get this one. Ngayon, para makuha natin yung maximum dimensions na makakapag-produce ng pinakamalaking area, we have to get its derivative. Getting its derivative, we have a prime is just equal to, basic rules lang, ang derivative ng y is just 1 with respect to y. Kaya, ang derivative ng 2400y is simply 2400. By power rule ulit, ang derivative ng 2y squared, ibababa mo si 2. So, you have 2 times 2 is 4. Tapos, babawasan mo ng isa yung exponent. So, this will become y raised to 2 minus 1, or y raised to 1, or simply y. Kaya, ang derivative ng 2400y minus 2y squared is simply 2400 minus 4y. If you have watched our lecture video about extreme value theorem, we can see na meron tayong maximum or minimum value Kapag yung slope of the tangent line or the derivative is equal to 0. Kaya ang gagawin, this a prime, we will be making this equal to 0 para makakuha tayo ng either maximum or minimum value. So let us continue. Let us make a prime is equal to 0. So pagpalitin natin si left side at si right side, makakarating tayo sa 2400 minus 4y. This is now equal to 0. Then isasolve na lang natin yung value ng y. Ililipat sa so 2,400 sa kabila. So, you have negative 4y is equal to 2,400. This will also become negative. 
Tapos, dividing both sides by negative 4 kasi yung y lang ang kailangan. So, let us divide both sides by negative 4 here. Kaya, ang mangyayari, this will become 1. Tapos, ang matitira na lang, we have y is equal to negative 2,400 divided by negative 4. This is equal to positive 600. Ngayon, nakuha na natin yung value ng y. That will give us the maximum area of the rectangular field. Ngayon, dahil nakuha na natin yung y, let us remember y is equal to 600. Gamitin natin etong formula natin for the perimeter. We have x is equal to, eto na lang nasa baba, 2400 minus 2y. Then using yung nasolve natin na value ng y, that is 600. x is equal to 2400 minus 2. Yung nasolve natin na y, that is 600. So, this is just equal to 2,400 minus 2 times 600 is 1,200. Then, ang value ng x is equal to 1,200. Now, we were able to solve for the dimensions ng fencing na makakapagbigay ng pinakamalaking area dito sa ating field. So, let us now conclude our answer here. Ang x is 1,200 and then ang y is 600. Therefore, we can say that the dimensions, which is 1,200 feet by 600 feet, will lead or will give us, so sulat na lang natin dito, will give us the largest area, will give us the largest area, yung pinakamalaking area of the rectangular field. So let me write it down here of the rectangular field. Nakuha na natin yung pinakamalaking area by using the dimensions 1,200 feet by 600 feet. So this is how we use the derivative, yung konsepto ng optimization para makapag-solve ng ganitong types ng problem. This ends our first example. See you on the next one.